In this podcast episode, I'm going to talk about the numerous reasons that I sometimes feel like I just want to give up on my dreams. If this isn't your first visit to my YouTube channel, or you're not a fan of very silly ukulele parody songs, then you might be advised to click the timestamp that says, hopefully, the useful bit. I started podcasting back in 22. I often have to do recording on the loo. It doesn't stop their calls and questions coming through like, can I have... That last donut, no you can't, I ate it earlier. Podcasts are good for my mental health, and podcasts can be good for your mental health. Playing Jenga on the Eiffel Tower, podcasts can be minutes or up to an hour. Listen in the loo or in a bed, podcasts can be good for your head. Hi there, my name's James, and thank you so much for checking out my podcast, Dad Mind Matters helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their minds. I decided to set up a podcast in September 2022 because I generally want to support parents, specifically dads, and I suppose specifically dads like myself, who often struggle with their mental health. If I'm completely honest, I've also set this podcast up, probably like a lot of people out there, I've got the dream of one day not having to work for anybody else. The dream as I see it is basically creating some sort of revenue that means I don't have to work, which means that I can take my kids to school, pick them up from school, means I can go to that lunchtime jujitsu class when I'm not feeling too lazy, means I can walk the dog, means that I have the time and the freedom to make up some very silly parody ukulele songs that will almost certainly be appreciated by my five-year-old son, not my nine-year-old son, or my 11-year-old daughter, who are definitely very much at the eye-rolling stage. I suppose what I'm really hoping this podcast will be, as well as a way of helping me to get to the point of being financially free and time free because actually as a dad I know full well that there's going to be a time in the not too distant future where my kids really aren't that interested in hanging out with me with that in mind I want to make sure that I have all the time I can when they are interested in hanging out with me the podcasts that I really like listening to are the ones that I actually feel like I'm listening to someone who might only be a couple of steps ahead of me so if you've got a dream or you've got a plan or like me you want to find a way to sack the nine to five or you've got creative ideas that you want to develop this might be a good podcast for you to listen to because at best i may just be one or two steps ahead of you to give that some context at the moment i've got a podcast that gets about 1500 to 2000 downloads a month but doesn't provide any income i've written two books that are available in kindle and paperback on amazon that sometimes bring me some money the best month being recently in december where i think i made about 500 dollars but it's certainly not enough money to pay the mortgage or buy a yacht. I've also got a couple of jobs, one where I do some podcast editing and another one where I clean Airbnbs. The good things about these jobs is it gives me the time to do all the childcare stuff, drop the kids off, pick them up, walk the dog, edit some podcasts, create some podcasts, check out Amazon and get frustrated why no one's bought my book. And it lends me the fairly blessed scenario of being able to chase a dream which a lot of people won't get to chase. I'm also incredibly lucky to have a very long-suffering, full-time working wife, who is the first person to buy both of my books, works hard to keep her eye rolling to a minimum, and doesn't mind when I post anything to do with my podcast on her Facebook page. She's awesome, I'm very lucky. So anyway, sorry about that ridiculous preamble, on to the actual podcast bit. And reason number eight that people sometimes feel like giving up is misplaced motivation. I've spent way more money than I would like to remember on courses that I thought the shiny new object was going to get me the lifestyle I wanted or the money. Surprise, surprise, only three or four months into it, I no, there really are no shortcuts to success. No, buying shares in that cryptocurrency that you know absolutely nothing about. Surprise, surprise, if it sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Make sure before you start to achieve something, it's actually something you really want. So yes, for me, I absolutely want to create a podcast that develops into a lifestyle and a career that means I have the time freedom to do what I want. I also generally want to help people. I've struggled with my mental health on and off since my teens with OCD and intrusive thoughts and depression. And yes, obviously, I want all the things I've said for myself but I'd also really like to help other people if I can along the way. The clearer you can see and understand why you are doing what you are doing, the better. It will help drag you through those plateaus, those times of self-doubt. It will keep you going. I really hope you got something with this podcast. And if you have something you want to do or you're trying to do something, 
I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments. And if you're starting a podcast or starting a YouTube channel or writing a book and want some one-to-one -one support, you can book a complimentary 50-minute session with me. The link's in the description. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care. My book, First Time Dad, A 42-Week Guide to Pregnancy, is available in Kindle and paperback form on Amazon and an audiobook form on Audible. To sign up for my monthly newsletter, please visit my website, www.dadmindmatters.com.